Hello and welcome to this tutorial on designing a photoplethysmogram PPG beat detection algorithm. This tutorial follows the steps outlined at this website here. So let's go there now. This is the website for PPG Beats, a MATLAB library of algorithms to detect heartbeats in PPG signals. And we'll be following the designing a beat detector tutorial. So this is the process that we undertook to design MSPTD FAST. That's the name of a PPG beat detection algorithm. And here we were building on much previous research where people had developed an algorithm called MSPTD and we were simply trying to speed it up. Now this work is described in this publication here and I'm not going to go through all of the details, rather in this tutorial I'll just be explaining how to follow the steps we took. So for anyone interested in the, uh, the background and the further details, there's a link to that application here. So the five steps that we will follow in this tutorial are these five bullet points. Firstly, we're going to install the PPG Beats toolbox. So we'll download the toolbox as a zip file. We'll extract that to give a folder containing uh, the toolbox scripts. The second step is to download the data that we used to design the beat detection algorithm. We used a subset of the PPG Dahlia dataset. This is a publicly available dataset that was collected using wearable sensors from volunteers. And in particular, we're using the data that was collected during a lunch break. So we now have that downloaded as a MATLAB file. And the third step then is to run the analysis using this assess multiple datasets script. So just going into the toolbox folder, the algorithms and scripts are in the source folder. And the one we want is this assess multiple datasets scripts. So here we have it. Now there's one thing we need to do in preparation, which is to specify the file path of the data set. So we'll copy the path of that file and then we'll come to the specify options function. So here we're, in, we're now inside that function and scrolling down there are file paths for each of the different data sets that the toolbox is commonly used with. And we're interested in this PPG daily lunch break data set, so we'll insert the file path there, just pasting it in. Okay, so now we are ready to run this analysis. So let's run that. And just to give you an overview of what it's doing. So it's cycling through each of the subjects in that data set, taking the recording of PPG signals acquired during their lunch break. And then it's using multiple beat detection algorithms to detect beats in the PPG. And these are listed. So the first is the QPPG FAST, which is a state-of-the-art algorithm, which is our comparator for this work. Then there's MSPTD. That's the original implementation of this algorithm in the PPG Beats toolbox. And then you'll see there are various other versions of MSPTD. Now these are uh, experimental versions where we try out different potential improvements to the algorithm. And here we're looking at both how accurately each version detects beats in the PPG signal and also the execution time of each version, aiming to maintain the high accuracy of MSPTD whilst reducing the execution time, i.e. making it more efficient. So it's now going through each of those subjects. In a moment, it will also detect beats in the simultaneous ECG signals, which act as our reference. And then it will collate the statistics on the performance of each of these different versions.
So we'll rejoin the tutorial in a moment once it's gone through that process. Welcome back. When we left, the toolbox was detecting beats in each subject's PPG signals. Since then, it's gone through a few additional steps, such as identifying beats in simultaneous ECG signals and assessing the performance of each beat detector. It's produced these summary statistics for the performance of each beat detector, which is what we're now going to look at. The toolbox then did go on and take a few additional steps and it bumped into an error later on, but we don't need to worry about that. We're looking at these summary statistics. So coming back to our instructions, we're now on the fourth bullet point. And the file which contains these statistics is this PPG detect stats. Now this is located within a new folder that the toolbox has created, which contains the outputs from each step. And you can see this file is here. Now we're going to analyze those different statistics by running this final MATLAB script, which is contained within the toolbox. So going back into the toolbox folder, into the source folder, we have some publication specific scripts. And we're going to open this one here. And we, as before, need to specify the paths for, firstly, the statistics file. So let's grab the path for that. Here we go. So we'll insert that there. And then secondly, there's also this path for a folder where the script will save some plots. So let's create a new folder. We'll call it plots. We'll copy the name of that folder. Sorry, the path of that folder. Insert it here with a slash at the end. And now we'll run this script, which will load in the summary statistics and then generate a series of plots and also output some performance uh, details in the text. So that's finished. You can see there are some details outputted here, which we'll come back to. But first, let's take a look at these plots. So here we have various plots, and these correspond to the plots in the publication describing this work, which I've already opened here. So if we just come down to page three, there's a series of six different plots, and each plot shows the execution time on the blue axis on the left and the F1 score, a measure of beat detection accuracy in red on the right hand axis. And there are two lines, uh, one for each of those metrics. And in each plot, we have the results when using different options. So for instance, sampling frequency, this uh, plot D shows the results when using different sampling frequencies, whether on the right hand side, the original sampling frequency or down sampling, for instance, to 30, 20 or 10 hertz before running the beat detection. And we can see here that as the sampling frequency is reduced, so the execution time comes down, there's less data to analyze and perhaps there's a slight reduction in the F1 score, the accuracy as well. Now that was in the reported publication. So let's open the plot that we've just generated and let's compare these two. Um, so here we have the newly generated plot and the one from the paper. So you'll see broadly the same sort of trends, which is reassuring. And um, one thing to note is that the execution time differs very slightly. So the axis on the paper goes up to 0 0.05, whereas it goes up to 0 0.03 here. And that's because I'm running this on a different computer and I suspect that the execution time would differ slightly each time you run the analysis. And hopefully we find that uh, the other plots 
also look similar to that reported in the paper. So for instance, this perhaps the most important plot of all shows the performance of the original MSPTD algorithm on the left, the fast version, which is the one incorporating all of the chosen options for each of the configurations, and then QPPG fast, the comparator algorithm that we're comparing against. And the summary conclusion is that the execution time of MSPTD fast is far lower than that of MSPTD and not too far off that of QPPG fast. And the F1 score indicating the accuracy of beat detection is a little bit low, lower in MSPTD fast, but still comparable with either MSPTD or QPPG fast. And so this underlies our conclusion that this is a, uh, an efficient beat detection algorithm that could potentially be helpful. So with that, I thank you for listening. Uh, draw your attention back to this paper describing the work in more detail and the instructions for going through the analysis yourself. And perhaps you might be interested in the broader toolbox, which contains a range of tools for detecting beats in the PPG signal. Thanks a lot.